Loser bracket final between Team Tamarine and Secret Ship. Left side we have the Umbreon for first pick. With a Blissey, Serena, Machamp and Zorak. No attacker. Just five melee Pokemon for Team Tamarine. Going up against Shenelur, Sylveon, Clefable, Ushifu and Slowbro. Interesting. The five melee team comp. Two Arounder, one Defender, one Speedster and a Blissey. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about the Serena, but... Uh, I mean, Serena can still maybe work in tournaments a bit more. You can just always click a target with your Night Move and just try to win a fight instantly. But yeah, I don't know about this one. Very interesting team from Votamarine. I mean, they have Umbreon at least, so <laughs> maybe Umbreon is OP enough for Serena not to matter. And uh, we actually have Shanzi going for the invade right here. Top Team Tamarine. And uh, yeah, Fawzi has better last hitting than a Kapu, so he's gonna walk in. Looking for the boost auto attack and the pound, and he gets it. Rip up secured by the Shenzi. Now Clefairy also running in. The two pink blobs. Trying to fight the other out now, and uh, he's gonna look for the blue buff as well. Maybe Clefairy can get it. There's pound across the wall, but no, this time. And he will not able to steal both buffs away. Sylveon already level 4, and there's uh, Serena going down. Serena's down, looking for some stacks, but uh, not quite successful. Stuck on level 3. Didn't even get level 4 yet. And Eevee's already very powerful on level 4 with the Mystic Fire. Ushifu still hits level 5, doesn't matter what, even though he lost red buff. So it's not going to be too sad about losing one of the buffs in the end, I think. And let's see what this rock is going for. It's not going to be another Night Slash. For the side of Tamarine this time. Why is Serena bad? I can't figure it out. It's too squishy right now. It's just, they, they just nerfed Serena way too many times. It's just like, it feels like a bad speedster, you know? It's as squishy as a speedster, but doesn't do enough damage. So that's like the biggest issue. And we have again the Blissey now going for the next invade. But this time he's up against Ushifu. Is that really what <laughs> just he's trying? Doesn't he have Eggbomb either yet? So Ripper gets taken just by the Ushifu. And the Blissey has to run away, just trying to be a bit annoying. And just in case Ushifu doesn't go for the buff, I guess. Then Blissey would have secured it. But yeah, it's getting run down now. Ushifu's looking for this Blissey. The shooting strikes, but it's just here for the uh, mid Altaria. Oh, stun down to Zorak. He's going to nice slash back out, but I think he's going to fall for sure. Yes, taken down by the Sylveon. Too many members there mid of Secret Ship. And they're going to score a lot of points right here. 30, 16, and 20 points going for Secret Ship. So that's quite, quite huge. Of course, going to be very happy about this one. 20 to 66 points. Secret Ship with a small lead in this early game. And again, Shanu already doing a lot of damage as well. Looking uh, quite annoying in every single game, of course. But we saw in the Winner Bracket series that if Shenlu goes down, it's quite difficult, of course. I feel like the last team fight for Shenlu is actually not the easiest one. Because Overheat is not the highest range move either, so you actually have to walk up and maybe get taken down. So we're diving with the Grassy Glide. Looking for Shifu. But uh, Shifu is just a better Serena, so but can they take him down? Yes, they can. With the help of Zorak and Serena, they take down the better Serena in the end. But Secret Ship just goes bot path and scores some points right here. Machamp wasn't able to be there to defend. But Team Tamarine, they don't really care too much. They always play around top path a lot in this at this point in the game. They're going to score some points on their own. Machamp looking for the steer, but there's Imprison going to land. Can he try in the gravity? It's just so disgusting. He can't move! What is this video game? Imprison into the gravity, into the stun of Reggie Steel, also getting PvE'd. Oh man. <laughs> what a poor guy. Yeah, Imprison Gravity in the same team is just so annoying. Gonna but at least Team Tamarine, they're gonna win top path, they're gonna get the Regilecki. And they push it in. Probably not. But they can still make a rotation towards bot path happen and maybe score some gold there as well if they want to. Umbreon is gonna try to see the blue buff away. And does look successfully. Running that XP share. Which I don't know if I like seeing Umbreon with XP share, but it's of course totally fine as well. It's just important you have two XP shares, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter how many Pokemon you have, just run two XP shares in tournaments and you're good to go. Someone has to just take it. You need one per lane, or you just fall way too far behind. Unless your team YouTube fail, of course, refuses to do that, but still. You just need XP share. It is way too broken. It is way, way, way too broken. You need it on every single lane. Level 10 now for Zorak on the left side, highest in the game. First one to reach double digits. 
141 points, he could chip still with a small lead. But the experience is uh, a bit in favor of Team Tamarine. Not too much either, though, of course. But Champ has run away right here. Getting engaged on. Yeah, that's true. After level 4, like, Umbreon is totally fine. Or like, like level, level 4, level 6, level 10. Are quite easy to reach. That's the problem. Umbreon just has such early power spikes, right? 4, 6, 8, 10 are all insane power spikes. And it just doesn't take off experience. That's why it's just so broken as well. The power spikes come so fast. And it really doesn't take a lot of experience to get there. Next Reggie spawning in just 10 seconds on bot path and also top. A bit afterwards. And secret ship only positioning right here. Walking into imprisoned gravity again is going to be very, very, very uh, dangerous. I don't know what Serena is going to do against this either. Serena has such a hard time into this. Oh, she does get taken down. That's a huge mistake by Secret Ship. One of their most important Pokemon does go down. Serena with the Unite Pokemon to Savion. Savion also taken down. Didn't have Unite before, just didn't activate it. Now Team Tamarine is coming back into this game with this fight. Can they take down the Regis? Is the question. Oh, Machem jumping in onto the Chandelure. Zones him away. And Serena secures the Regis Steer now. Team Tamarine on the march forward. Can they take someone down? The Magpatch is completely going to miss right here. And my champ is going to fall to the Sylvia Unite and some basic attacks. Cliff Hamill actually securing this KO. Secret Chip on the chase. But can they really do much more right here? They gonna, might try to take on the Bliss. Bliss assistance kind of stuck on the same position. Slow Brawl, so you take buttoning forward onto the Serena. Take them down as well. You now Secret Chip with three KOs. Can they look for some more actually? Zorak is going to backcap 40 points. Which is also quite fine. Oshif on top is going to also score 24. So keeping Secret Ship in a... Fine lead. And Zorak's gonna score a few more and tries to get away with the cut. I don't know if he can make it out alive. I mean... He can probably even turn around onto the Sylveon here. And he does so. He does return onto the Sylveon. And Sylveon has to be careful, but he has the gravity. But he's gonna Unite move with the full heal as well. Trying to just get some damage done. Runs away with that move speed of the Unite move. Uh, but stuck in a bad position now. Goes back into the Night Slash. Into the gravity though, so he can't use another cut. And he gets cut down instead. 150 now for the double time, Serena with the number one to Shifu, but it did like no damage because the focus when was healing more than the, uh, the Serena Unite did even the damage. My god. Grassy Glide back out, Machamp jumping in. The problem is Team Tamarine just doesn't have any ranged poke, they're just like, don't really have much to play around. I don't know if like White Serena is better here than an attacker Pokemon, I just don't get it. Like what does Serena provide here over like a Nine Tails or something? Like at least have some sort of, you know, range poke or something. Like there's just, I, the Serena pick just feels like completely throwing the game away. It just doesn't provide anything more than an attacker would right here and they force them also to go into a full melee team comp. So, quite, quite questionable. Reggie Rock now being taken by the side of Secret Chip. Gonna start working onto this one, and they're gonna claim it quite, quite easily. There we go. Reggie Rock over to Secret Chip. Reggie Licky being stomped down now by the Serena. Oh boy, Rayquaza's up. Secret Chip, half position over the Ray Pit, a tiny bit at least. But again, they don't have that much of a comfortable lead, so... Can't just be AFK and just win the game. Level 13 on Machamp is quite scary, with their cross shop stacks, does a lot of damage like game. But Ushifu was able to scout him out. He's gonna engage onto the Machamp. I don't know, Machamp can't really win this in the 1v1, I think. Unless he Unite moves him, of course. Gonna take a lot of damage right here. Ushifu's still in the chase. Actually, he's gonna use a triple setting strikes right here. That seemed a bit too aggressive because he doesn't see the enemy team besides that. He's going so aggressive without having full information of where the enemy team is. Of course, he sees like one or two, but. Was Rock diving in now? Using the move as well, but just dodged away by Sylveon. So Rock going a bit too aggressive now. Team Tamarine is just gonna start going for this Rayquaza, but Shifu's already on the flank again. Play that safe now. Of course, doesn't want to get Serena Unite moved and just go down. In this fight, Rayquaza now being poked by the Chandelure. So they have 4v5 advantage for Secret Ship, but there's Serena diving in. And Savion with a very early Unite move, he was probably thinking he's gonna get Serena Unite move, so he doesn't want to risk it just getting one shot in it. So that's the Savion Unite move gone. And how much damage is going in? Onto the Savion, somewhere towards bot path. But neither team, this game is very a big mess right now. 
Zorak almost getting engaged on there by Oshifu, almost taking down. So we have three on the cliff Hable, doing literally zero damage. Bliss Assassins goes in though onto the Umbreon. And uh, where's Serena now? Serena's still looking for some damage right now on top side right here, looking for Sylveon. Grassy glides back in, looking for some more damage. Can he take down the Sylveon? Meanwhile, we have Umbreon taken down. Two on the secret ship side are down. Serena's still at full HP, but it's only 20 seconds to go. Oh, can he score those 100 points? No, he can't. Tenu's going to jump in just in time. I can Slowbro stop bot this is the question right now. There's 10 seconds left, and I think he can do so. Looks like... Wait, no! 100 points going, but Rashivo's also going to score 100 points. Well, what was these last two minutes? I don't even know what happened in the end. Everyone just took, like, small fights across the entire map. That was very interesting. But I think Secret Chip in the end is going to win because of the Shifu scoring another 100 points as well, winning his only one. And yeah, Secret Chip's gonna take the first game. We have for game number two on the left side, again another Oshifu for Secret Ship. This time Slowbro, a Sylveon Gardevoir and a Clefable. Going up the right side with a Zorok, Shenelua, Lapras, Blissey and a Blastoise. I haven't seen a Gardevoir today yet, right, in this? So, I think, I mean, it's still a very strong Pokemon as well. It can just be quite difficult to play up against like a Zorok or something, but yeah, let's see how much Pio can do. On this little right. Right side Zorok, left side Oshifu. Both insanely strong level 5 Pokemon. We pretty much have seen the trend of just like putting your like very strong level 5 Pokemon towards the center area. It's just a trend we see across every single region. Because those Pokemon just take over the game so fast that uh, yeah, it's just worth it to do, of course. Team Tamarine doesn't get the last hit right there. Secret Chips able to secure it. And Ubuyan again with that. Mystic if I still on every single game so far. Just really believes in it. Which, I mean, it has been fine. I just don't know if it should be picked this much, but... If he's ha having su success with it, then why not keep on playing it, right? Yes, level 5 for Shifu. It's gonna be another Surging Strikes. Also, I haven't seen a Wicked Blow yet. It's always these Surging Strikes. And, I mean, they're doing insanely well on it, so... I'm not surprised. I saw it here, looking for these rock, just starting to build up that uh, cooldown onto the surging strikes. But man, does Atarius disappear? Dives in now? And is he gonna keep on going? He just almost dives the Fluxstone already. But yeah, in a 1v3, probably not the best idea this early on. Up against his rock as well. Oh, we have Chandelure. I feel like Chandelure on the moves is kind of like a better guard award at this point, though. I mean, Overheat and Psyshock are very similar, right? But Overheat just does so much more damage. So much more damage, but they're pretty much the same move. But again, when it's between Future Sight and Flamethrower, I guess Future Sight is better. But yeah, I mean, they're pretty much the same Pokemon. Just a bit different. So if you're not running down the Vortorte, taken down, KO for Secret Ship. Can they do some more right here? Once to score those 27 points, and the Shifu is moving towards top head. They're going to try to get those points in. And Blissey is also going to fall right here. Any moment now, there's a Surging Strikes coming in. Can Zorok save the game right here? Otherwise, Secret Ship is going to get a huge lead. There's the final Night Stash going in. Let's go back to the right side. Shifu not dropping no HP. Lapras is here as well to defend. And Team Tamarine is able to make a top path in time. If all those points go in, it would have been also quite, quite rough already, because there would have been so much experience over to Secret Ship already in this early game. If those 60 points go in, so... Good defense by Tamarine. Lapras making the time, so does Zorak. And Shifu just dives back in. Man, these Shifus are very aggressive as well. Doesn't have vision on anything, it just dives in. Who is onto Zorak now, who is level 7 already? Can he actually take him down? There's an eject button across the wall back to Fable. They try to go for the Zorak, can't quite do it. Going for Lapras next now. Final Surging Strike is going to come through soon and he's going to try to go for some more. Maybe Liquidation activated. Ushivo now taking off damage. There's a final Night Stitch, but he gets stunned by the Gravity. War Torte goes in with the Rapid Spin Fire. Uh, rapid Spin. What a spout. Takes on one. And Zorak takes someone down here with the final Night Slash. Doesn't have enough damage. He doesn't want to follow up. So, no more casualties. It was only uh, one person going down. I mean, Japan likes Night Slash a lot, but they usually just abuse a bug that makes your Night Slash faster, but I don't think they do it in tournaments. I mean, I assume there would be bug abusing, like honest bug abusing, if you see that happening a lot, but yeah. Prison lands, overheat damage, and Warthog is able to get it. Gets the veggie steer for Team Tamarine. Not great for Secret Ship, of course. And our Blaster is already getting a lot of experience as well. And now, Oshifu's only level 7. He wasted so much time just fighting that he's only level 7 right now. But it doesn't go down to Zorak right here. So, Oshifu lost a lot of experience, but at least Garo was level 9. 
Was level 9 is gonna move towards his top path. Could look for a very strong Unite move. Lapras dropping low HP. Gravity. Oh, Gravity is just so painful for Zoroark. But I mean, to be fair, Zoroark is so OP. It deserves to have some counterplay, right? But yeah, I'm still, man. Gravity is just so, so annoying. Going for this Regia Licky now. There's the final Night Slash into the Unite move, and they're gonna claim it. But Rashid is already diving on this backside, but he's only level 8 now still. He's so far away from his Unite move. After spending way too much time fighting. And Zork is almost level 10 already. The deck is now getting cleared. It's a very small point uh, game so far. 8 to 19 points. Uchi for getting caught right here, but gets away from the Night Slash. And Prison's going to land. At least Gara was level 10, so was able to get a lot of experience himself. Savior and diving now onto Shannon is going to Yakub across, but nice eject button across the way Shannon Lua. This assistance is just going to be there just in case, but I think he didn't know that eject button was up of Shannon Lua. He probably pressed it before already. So a bit of a mistake right there. So the Bliss assistance is not going to be up for this next Reggie fight. It's going to be much more difficult for Tamarine to take it. It's already happening in just 15 seconds. Shifu looking for a jungle invade, but it can't quite find anything. So it's going to be a 4 against 4. While Lapras can always unite move from top to bot path quite easily, Oshifu's going to stop this uh, point from going in. It's trying to be a bit annoying right here, but Lapras could just go into unite move now and just zoom towards bot path. But if he does so, then the Ork's going to lose 40 points, because Oshifu can just go for free. And Oshifu is still fighting Lapras up top path. The fight's breaking on the bot path, though. They're going to look for the Reggie Rock. There's Blast's net into the Night Slash, and perfectly done to execute the Reggie Rock. And they're able to get it. There was wonderful coordination there. Perfect blast so unite into the Night Slash X to get a perfect last hit on Reggie Rock. Man, still only 8 to 19 points in 6 minutes. These teams are really just not allowing anyone to score points. So Rock now diving onto a Shifu. If Shifu goes down right here, there could be some points going down. There's the final Night Slash, and but he doesn't quite get the KO onto Unite move as well. Does he not have damage? Or Shifu finally goes down. Lepros Unite onto Sevino as well, knocks it up, and that's two KOs. They're gonna try to score 80 points right now, and they're gonna get it. 40 and another 40 go in. Not in Taman with 99 points. A huge 2v2 win for the orange team. Which I would say consider the underdog team in this tournament, but Secret Ship was one of the teams that got into these uh, regionals with a last chance qualifier so they didn't have an easy time qualifying for this they're one of the last teams to actually qualify for the region eight, so good run by them already being in top three and making to the world championship again after not having the best qualifying 170 and 28 points now team tamarine getting in the head in this game and they close out the question for the game three Secret Chip successfully defending. I'm not sure who has better late game. I would say Tamarine has better late game. Lepra, Shenelua, Blissey, Blastoise. Blastoise is also late game monster when he gets to level 13. So. Left side, I mean, Gardevoir was pretty good late game. Slowbro is good, Clefable is good. Sylveon is alright. And Ushipu is, uh, I mean, Ushipu can always be good and bad at the same time. It just depends on how it's being played. Nice just goes in, they're gonna take down the Sylveon. But Blaster is also going to fall to the Gardevoir damage. Lissy's gonna back up 40 points, putting Tamarine even further into the lead now. And our Secret Ship, they will have to start doing something at some point. But of course, they can always just try to get Rayquaza and catch up quite, quite easily. 211 points behind. Regi is also secured by Tamarine, so they have a huge lead going to this late game. They have a massive lead heading to the last two minutes. Ushif was only level 12 as well. They're actually all level 12 max on the left side. And Secret Ship is going for this race slowly. Sylveon is in the pit right now, getting stunned by Rayquaza, just trying to poke it on a bit. It's already at half HP and Team Tamarine now. They have to start doing something. Lapras being caught right here. Already activating Unite, looking for a flank now, looking for the wraparound. And looking for a huge wave. Is the wave going to hit? Actually crashes into a wall. It's gonna be a bit slow. Sylveon. Sylveon, Sylveon getting taken on, but jumps across the wall. Across the final Night Slash. And now God of War gets the Rayquaza for the side of Secret Ship. Rayquaza just went way too low, but time Team Tamarine just took too long to force a fight. Sylveon by a lot of time. One points going for the Sylveon. But uh, do they have enough shields left is the question. They're still 100 points behind. God of War has a shield left. 
Man, this team fight was kind of weird. Secret ship just poking down Ray. And eventually went down. So they have to keep this shield onto Gardevoir if they want to win the game. One minute is left. Lapras looking for a backup on top path as well. Oh, this is going to be an interesting last minute. Even those 100 points aren't even enough, right? So. And they have only one shield left. We're going to start to look for another team fight right here. Team Tamarine just have to defend these goals for their life. Shiva's is going to dive in. Lapras now looking for the flank right now. Clefable also joining. So it'll be a 5v5 on this top, on this, on this bottom path goal. But Team Tamarine has to defend this one as well. Are oh, they going to try to keep this Gardevoir sheet still alive? They're going to try to look for Lapras. Uh, damage take to Lapras, not quite. There's Zorak and Rabbit Spin going in now. And Gardevoir is going to lose the shield. But Slobo is going to take down Zorak. And can they score some points right here? Sivian's going to score. It's, uh, that's already, this already gone, done now. If they get 100 points in, it's over. If they get 100 points in right here, it's over. And they can't stop it. They walked too far away. They just couldn't do and couldn't defend it. 100 points going 260 now for Secret Ship to the 219. They don't even need the Gardevoir sheet in the end. They're just able to just push some of the first goal. Do two caps there and Secret Ship is going to move to the Grand Final. They've been even scoring a few more points to make sure they win. And Secret Ship is going to rematch MJK in the Grand Final.